This video answers the question, how do you build an identity graph? Let us look at an example that explains how you can build an identity graph. When a visitor comes to your website for the first time on a specific browser, a first party cookie is set. As long as this first party cookie is not deleted, the visitor can be recognized as a repeat visitor when he comes back to the website. If the visitor then logs into a self-service portal or an e-shop, the first party cookie can be matched to the login identifier. The self-service portal itself can be linked to offline identifiers like customer number, contact email and mobile telephone number. Based on these identifiers, an offline customer record can be added to the profile. The identity graph can be expanded over time as the user uses more touch points and devices. Often, a digital identification does not happen on the first visit, and a user might be represented through a customer profile and multiple visitor profiles. Once one of these visitor profiles is digitally identified, it needs to be merged into the customer profile. A context switch happens if a device is moved from one user to another. Imagine different users logging into a self-service portal on the same device and browser. References between those profiles could be used to capture the fact that they all logged in on the same device. References could also be used to create links between persons that live in the same household. As this example shows, Building an identity graph requires identity matching, profile merging, context switching, and profile referencing. 